TGI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10 Experimental. No, it's past experimental. <laughs> uh, this is like episode 7 or 8 or something of... Yeah, eight now of uh, the uh, stable branch of Alpha 10. And as you can see, I've armored up pretty much as much as I want to. I just want to get on with this now. I've, I've put a lot of ammo into the ammo boxes. So I filled up the uh, um, both types of ammo for the sentry guns and for the projectile turrets up top too. Now, here, I'll show you what I got going on up top there. So it's a very simple base. A couple of turrets up there on a pedestal. I'm sure that'll fall instantly. And, <laughs> you know, so not everything is armored, but whatever. I'm going to give them a fighting chance. I'm not going to use a vehicle to kill them with, although I will use this turret will be active inside here on this so I guess I kind of will be using a vehicle to help kill but I'm not going to be in the vehicle because I think it would just delay it just way too much if I was actually in a vehicle and even a little piddly vehicle like this with a couple guns can really slow <laughs> base attack down severely so um, <clears throat> okay let's get this started so I've got I built myself a rocket launcher and made a hundred rockets with it. I've got my laser rifle with the laser ammo that I had. Uh, that'll run out pretty quick, but I've got a whole bunch of T2 pulse rifle ammo and there's a bunch more in the base if I need to. There's still another 2000 rifle rounds and 3,800 30 mil bullets. I can't use the 30 mil bullets anything other than the turrets up top. So I think at this point we're ready to go. Let's turn the flip the base over. Well, here, let's turn this on first. So we'll turn this on. So it's ready to go. I think we need to go into it. Can I? Oh, I got to do it from. Okay, that's fine. Let me just jump in really quick then. Just get it uh, loaded. Ah, well, it's docked. Okay, so let's undock, right? And now I should be able to go into it. And there it goes. It's loading up now. Okay. Now let's move over a little bit. I know this thing's going to get taken out real quick, but whatever. Okay, so we've got tons of fuel for this thing. Let's jump out. It's ready to go. I, I put out some um, <laughs> medic stations around my base, so when they're chasing me around, I can, like, heal on the fly and keep shooting them. You know? I, I think this might work okay. Uh... I'm not going to give it up without a fight, obviously. So let's do this. We're going to turn this from public into private. Are you ready? Let's make this a home spawn. Whew. Here we go. Here we go. What are f we got lots of fuel. We should be fine. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's check out what our statistics are. 27%, holy crap. Yeah, that'll probably get us an attack of mediocre. It's not going to be that great, though. It's not going to be a big attack. And we probably won't even get a warning. Um, I may have to force the attack, I guess, if it if it does the check and fails the check. Because there is a command to force the attack. I just... I want to trigger it naturally. So, we'll see. We'll see. 
Okay, well, I guess while we wait... Oh, no, that's just something on my monitor. <laughs> you know, some a dead fly or something on my monitor, yeah. Um, nope, I don't see any red dots yet. <clears throat> okay. Uh, come on. <laughs> oh, what I should do is actually... While we're waiting for the attack, let's switch to this. I wouldn't mind actually modifying this a bit so that when they do attack, I can let's grab this. Now that I can pick it up, right? Now that it's private. And I was thinking of making a little peephole out the back here. I know it's going to cause me some temperature problems, but I don't really care. I'm in medium armor. It's not going to cause that many temperature problems. Okay, so... No red dots yet. <clears throat> um, I left all those out there. See, I'm, I'm afraid that they're going to use those to remote... Um, convert my I should actually take those down I should take those down let's do that I don't want them landing over here and just instantly converting my base right so let's do that we'll take these It'll, the only problem is it's going to make it less likely of them attacking. I have a feeling, though, that it's high enough percentage to, you know, after a cycle or two, it's going to, it's going to trigger. I'm not sure how often it checks for the base attack um, percentage but okay so now we're just running on fuel alone we're not we we do have a bit of battery left I think and once that runs out yeah once the battery runs out we'll just be on fuel that's fine Come on. Okay, well, while we wait... Um, yeah. What I'm going to do is I will come grab you as soon as they show up. Okay, well... <laughs> I decided to keep expanding on the base to try and trigger the attack and, you know, built a garden, didn't trigger an attack, built a, this is our storage, kind of, eventually going to be furnaces in here and I put some more, um, I put some more generators and fuel tanks in there, okay, and didn't spawn an attack we are at what are we at right now so attack difficulty zero uh, we're at 26.2 percent based on mainly reputation alone the base size has went up a tad bit the energy footprint has went up a tad bit but we're still looking at this attack difficulty zero so I think unless that goes a one I don't think we'll see an attack so I got to try and trigger that um, I just have to keep building I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smash through here I'm gonna build a med center and like a little a little um, I don't know panic room or something you know <laughs> I guess <laughs> yeah where I can yeah let's do that <clears throat> so through here <laughs> And yeah, now, you know, 
I unsealed it, so now we get the rain inside. That's a nice feature of, you know, digging underground, getting rain. It's always fun. Uh, I wonder who I want. The medical devices. And I made a whole bunch of other stuff. The tech equipment. Um, made some deco. And... Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, let's just confirm. We are at zero difficulty. There is currently no drones around in the area. Okay. Let's put this all together. We're going to put this in the... Here, in the doorway here. Put this door here is good. And, yeah. So there was another type of door, wasn't there? There's a new type of door, right? There's a new type of door. May, I don't know if the large constructor can do it, though. Uh, I don't know if I've opened it either. Maybe it might be the the armored automatic doors or something. No, here at the man, no. Uh, I'm not sure. They might not be available in this... Um, in this constructor too, there's there's no new doors apparently. So yeah, I wanted to check those out. Uh, okay, <clears throat> new heavy duty doors or something like that. Well, should I go? No, I don't need to do that. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep building here, and if I can trigger the freaking things, I will come. Get you. <laughs> okay, we are back and I'm getting close, it feels like. It feels like I'm getting close. Um, yeah, let's just take a look here. The base is getting a little bit bigger. What? Class size 0. 0.51. I don't know. Oh, hover vessel. <laughs> yeah, derp a derp. Let's, uh, there we go. It's 1.45, and we're really close. So I think, I think if I hit 0.5, so 1.5, it should flip to a size class 2 and maybe trigger a base attack. So that's what we're going to attempt right now in the last few minutes of this episode is to get them triggered. <laughs> I know, crazy. Another problem, too, is my reputation didn't, it, it lowered because I haven't been killing them, so I might have to go kill them again, because I'm back down to unfriendly. So, that could be an issue. Okay. Well, let's keep building the base. So, what I was doing was uh, just moving my turrets and kind of expanding out the platform. So let's we'll just keep doing that here. Grab some more blocks. We've got 249, another 350 now that we can lay down. We should be able to get it to the right size for them to be pissed at me. I, I mean, it's not my fault that I put it in a prime location to prevent it from getting attacked. <laughs> I don't know. I what I really wanted to do is test, you know, if you are in a prime location and you do have really crappy reputation, you know, how big can you make it before they get pissed off with you? So <clears throat> that's really what I'm testing right now is a realistic situation, right? Because why would you build purposely to get attacked, right? You're not necessarily. Not on a starting planet, so... Let's just keep building. We're going to keep building here. Expand this out. It won't take much to trigger it, I think, at this point. Let's let's just keep taking a look. Oh, point. Getting closer. Getting closer. Every little, every little uh, segment of blocks increases the size of the base a bit. 0.48. 
getting closer, getting closer. We might be able to just fill, fill in this line, so let's do that, and it should maybe trigger it. And, oh, 0.49. Okay, so, okay. Um, darn. Let's go over, let's go place the, the other cannon that I removed. Or it was uh, one of the turrets. I forget which one. But let's go do that. We'll stand up against the wall here. So if anything comes, the sentries can come at us. Or can go at it. Okay. And oh, I'm a little too close. Let's move a bit. There we go. Now I had a turret that I popped off. Where are you? There you are. The rocket turret. Let's uh, set up over here. I think um, let's let's put down some blocks. Come on! I saw you wanted to go down there. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Three, and then we'll pull those forward. I don't know if they'll go. They looked like it might have there, so that's cool. Let's try. Um, you know what, I wonder if, should I put a retractable on top of that and have it raised up now? No, you know what, that was, I shouldn't have done that. Let's, uh, crap, <laughs> I probably, I probably screwed myself. You know what, we'll just put it, we'll put it without retractable, then that's fine. Let's just do that then. So, we're going to do flak turret again. We'll put it right here. Right there. Right there. Okay. So, did that trigger it? And, 149. <laughs> yep. Still not triggered. Okay. Um, let's add some blocks. We don't need to add many, I doubt. Come on, get down there. And we'll just pull this down to there. Did that do it? And, uh, oh, it's not. Okay, so I guess we got to go 0.51. Oh, we'll just go in there. Come on. There, oh, you had it. There we go. And come on. Do it, do it, do it. Yes! Size class 2 in. Ah. Oh. Difficulty is still zero. The base. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get it to recalculate. Let's get it to recalculate. Um, how do we do that again? It's a, it's a command. I think it's BA attack. E A attack. Uh, I'm not sure if well, it didn't complain. Let's take a look. Yeah, it didn't move. Darn it. <laughs> uh I was really hoping if so so wow you can get quite a good size base going by the look of it before they get pissed if you're if you're in a decent location where it's like they're not angry by the location at all you you got a really good shot at making a decent size base before they get choked huh okay well I'm gonna call the episode here and what I'm gonna do for next episode is. I think I just want to trigger something crazy. So I'm going to find a fairly large POI and throw a core into it <laughs> and see what happens. I don't know if I got to have to fly up for that one. Alien Tower. Abandon. Abandon mine. Yeah. Crash Capital Vessel. The Titans. Oh. 
destroyed mining tower. Derelict base. <gasps> That'll do it. Yeah, we'll go take over the derelict base. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is, because they don't want to seem to come attack this one, let's see if they'll go attack something already made. I know the derelict base is fairly large, so it should trigger it right off the bat if if size matters. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.